Hello everyone, this is Kurode giving you a review of the Steel Series Sensei Mouse that Steel Series was so kindly to send to me a couple of months ago. Um, I wanted to get my hands on the mouse and try to feel it and and, and see how it really compares. Most mice, um, it's really not about the you know the the feel of the mouse and and the button clicks as much as it is the software and how customizable the mouse actually is. Now, first of all, that's no dog on the mouse itself. The mouse is an ambidextrous mouse, so it doesn't curve one way or the other. And it and my hand rests on it pretty comfortably. I So far, I have to say that there hasn't been that many issues. The only issue that I do have sometimes is sometimes I do hit the right side front and back buttons when I try to when I try to play StarCraft 2 all I simply did was disable those buttons and and nothing really bad came of it now what's really great about the mouse is that how customizable it is and Steel Series really took their time in trying to make a strong mouse that that you could customize every which way now first of all if you notice there are profiles for the mouse so depending on what game you're playing you can actually have different mouse settings. If you take a look at this here, um, there's some. There are also s standard profiles for players who play first-person shooters, who play MOMBAs, who play StarCraft II. I, I have my own setting as well, just because I try to experiment and play with the settings. But just to go to show you how many settings there are actually in this game, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. Now you're going to see all of these all of these charts, all of these sliders and try to figure out what exactly you can do. There's some there's some superficial um, nice to have um, customizations. You can change the LED colors on the mouse. If you notice back over here, um, there was a little bit of color here. There's also a bit of color on the back side as well. So you can go ahead and change that. Um, you can go ahead and change the wheel to any colors here. You, there's actually more colors, and I have them just standard set to blue just because the, the light on my monitor is blue and my mouse matches my monitor. Yeah, um, nothing exciting there. What is exciting, though, is the CPI settings or the characters per inch and the how much you scan. What they actually have is that you can scan in different directions. CPI 1, CPI 2, I believe it's scanning in different directions where... You, you can scan vertically how many characters per inch, and you can also scan horizontally how many characters per inch. It's for those settings where sometimes you want to be able to move faster left and right than up and down if you have a widescreen monitor. I, I really do like that, um, like that ability. Also, you have the Steel Series Free Move. Now, basically, this is just a simple path correction. When you move your mouse from left to right, even though you're trying to draw a straight line, you do end up moving up and down and there is a little bit of character jump. The, what this can do is you can change it from a setting of one to 10, how often or how much it actually adjusts for you so that it is a true straight line. Um, it's more important in say, uh, first person shooters where you wanna be able to do a quick turn left or right without looking up or down. That is a definite, definite help. Now, there's also the standard exact acceleration. Exact, exact acceleration ex allows you, <clears throat> excuse me, increases your uh, mouse acceleration. And basically, if you move from left to right a little bit versus a lot, even though you move the same amount, it can actually help you turn left or right in first person shooters. So um, that is fully customizable from a zero, a setting from zero to 10 as well. And then there's also the ability to do exact aim. Exact aim uh, basically assumes that there is a, or there's a button right here that allows you to click it. And when you click it, a light, little light turns on and you can switch your DPS on the fly so if you're trying to do a headshot, if you're tr if you're trying to do any very very precise movements, you can go ahead and hit that and then switch it back up once again. Now on the bottom of the mouse, there is also an LCD dis display, 128 by 32 pixels, so that you can make sure to customize your mouse, and you know which mouse is your mouse, say, at LAN events. Um, oftentimes, people can swap mice. People can accidentally take your mice, and you're like, no, 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 that's my mouse. Like, how can you tell if it's your mouse versus my mouse? Well, at a gaming event, a lot of people do use the same mice. 
but this way you can customize your mice and say, yes, this mouse is mine. I can prove it. It says Crota. It, it's mine. No questions act, asked. Now, perhaps one of the most important features for StarCraft II would be the exact lift. What exact lift allows you to do is whenever you whenever you play a game, you'll notice that you do pick up your mouse in order to reposition it. By repositioning, whenever you lift up your mouse, though, um, you can actually set how high before the mouse stops actually scrolling. So in some instances, it's like some players, they want it so that as soon as the mouse is barely off the mouse pad, they don't want it to move at all so that there's less up and down. Other people want to say, you know what? Sometimes my house gets jerked and my hand gets jerked a little bit. Perhaps it jumps around. I want to be able to set it up to a higher amount. And all of these settings really, really makes the mouse feel very customizable. And it, and it really makes it feel like your own. It's all about setting your own tools. Now, one one of the reasons one of the reasons why I also like this mouse is that you can also have your onboard profiles. You can actually store your profile on your mouse itself. Any of you guys who have traveled to a LAN event, any any of you guys who travel and play at your local PC, play at MLG, will know how how much of a trouble it is trying to set your profiles so that. Your, your mouse moves like it's supposed to trying to set that up. You have like maybe five, 10 minutes and you, you want to spend those five, 10 minutes actually warming up in the game and not in the steel series engine or your mouse acceleration engine, trying to figure out, okay, um, it, do I need to set up my CPI higher or lower? Do I need to set up my acceleration higher or lower? These are all things that really makes the steel series mouse one a comfort to use at home for me, even though I don't go to LAN events. And for those who do take it to LAN events, I've heard nothing, but you know what? It's nice that I can, I can just save my settings on my mouse and I know what the settings are um, default in Starcraft two. So I just go up to max and then I let, make sure that my mouse does everything in terms of all of the settings and I'm ready to go. So um, really, really just enjoy the mouse. It's, it's been a lot of fun to use. Uh, it really does feel more like a tool than just a piece of hardware. And, you know, if you guys have any questions about the mouse, go ahead and put it in the comments. Uh, but pretty much those are all the those are all the great features that I've really been enjoying. Um, I would definitely recommend this mouse. Uh, a couple of people have asked me which mouse and um, it's, it's, it's a mouse that it's a gaming mouse. It's a high grade mouse, but it, it doesn't look gaming. It doesn't necessarily look gaming unless you, you know, turn it like bright red or do all the customizable colors. But at the same time, sometimes I take it on the road with me on business trips and they go, oh, cool mouse. And it doesn't look like, you know, too outlandish. So for those of you guys who like function and, and form, it is a very good balance. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know what other product reviews you guys are going to be doing or you guys want me to do. Um, I am going to be reviewing some other stuff as well, but thanks for watching. And if you're thinking, um, thinking twice about the steer series sensei, don't think twice. It's a great mouse. There's a lot, there's a lot of customization. I hopefully I've showed you guys that, and I hope to see you guys on battle net or online.